God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard. Fantastic rendition of O Canada by Skylar Cole earlier on. And we'll be back after this. Here you go again. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. In this one, you'll see the Philadelphia 76ers against the Toronto Raptors at Scotiabank Arena. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey Dave. Thank you very much. Now the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says, the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Now look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the center. And for the Raptors, Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. Inside for him, it's Barnes and Siakam. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. And about the 76ers, Richard. They've been impressive. Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons and with Joel and Reed every single year are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. Now here's Van Vliet. Siakam passes to Van Vliet. Trent outside. Back to Van Vliet. Five on the clock. Toronto needs to get off the shot. Trent can't hit. Now the 76ers with it. Here's Thibel. Harden outside. Now the pass to Maxi. And feed with a screen on Trent. Unloads from 13. Jump shot is good that time. Maxi's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the 76ers. Barnes looking around. The shot misses, and the 76ers go the other way with it. They defeated Indiana in their last one. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Callous shots and, and really protected the rim. They were very disciplined on that end of the floor, staying attached to shooters and disrupting plays with their active hands. Now here's Van Vliet. After the miss from Tyrese Maxey. And no good, his first shot of the night, missing. Harden against Van Vliet. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Here's Harden. MB wide open. It's rebounded by Ananobi. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Trent against Maxi. Here's Siaka. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
and you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. And for Siakam, Greg, he almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. And the second free throw, good. For the Raptors, their last game, a loss to the Heat. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they were fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. The Raptors have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. And Blake with the bounce pass. Here's Barnes. And again, no good by Toronto. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start the game with four straight misses. Yeah, look, that's about as rough as it gets. It'll get going soon. Harris looking it over. And Bede sets the pick for Harris. And a miss here on the triple. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Toronto. It's a three-point game. Barnes outside. Siakam is screen on Harris. Barnes can't get it to go. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Back to Harden. That's the three fly. Sinks the three-pointer. Harden's got five now. Big three-point shot from James Harden. Look, this man locks in, and that is his shot. Harris against Barnes. And Ananobi now on top of the key. Five to shoot. Van Vliet against Harden. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Philadelphia leading by six. Now Harden, he's got five. This is it to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. And they double up in B. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. They'll have a jump ball. And Philadelphia has possession. Shot clock at five. They get it again. He's again, and it's good on the way up. Love the activity from Embiid, just doing whatever he can to keep plays alive, getting rewarded for it there. Pass to Barnes. Siakam with it, guarded by Embiid. And here's Barnes for three, hits it from three-point range. And he gets one to fall, and now one out of his first four. Looking it over. And B kicks to Maxi. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Perry Trent Jr. Great when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. And he makes the first. And while it's still very early in the season, the top teams, Greg, have already started to distinguish themselves across the NBA. Getting off to a hot start, always a good sign. But, but don't sleep on the teams that are still getting locked in. A lot can change in the coming months. Good on both. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the strike. I hope I didn't jinx him. Barnes down 
low. Guarded by Harris. Some solid defense from Harris. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Now here is Harris. 11 points for him in that last game against Indiana. Can't hit from 12. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Right here, right here. Van Vliet looking around. Here's Barnes. Picks it off the glass. Barnes has got five points so far. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Harden. He picked up 18 points in the last one against Indiana. That team, no good. He just looks he's cool. Looks like he's losing a bit right now. Look at what he's saying. Can play wide open. Three corners off the mark. Philadelphia leading by five. And here now is Thibel. He's coming off a 10-point game against Indiana. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. Here's Van Vliet. Following the basket by Tyrese Maxey. Trent finds Ananobi. Now Trent. It's up a three. It's hauled in by Harris. Trent against Maxey. to Harden. Back to Maxi. Pulls it up. Here's Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. Embiid. I understand he's a large human, but the defense has to be better. You can't let Embiid get whatever he wants inside. Now, here's Siakam. 23 points for him the last game against Miami. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. With it, five points in the game. 13 feet away. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from him. And now it's an 11-point 76ers lead. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. for Toronto. Achua, he's checked in for Siakam. Here's Boucher comes in for Barnes and Porter subbed in for OG Ananobi. against Melton. Boucher with a screen on Melton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. When you have an MVP caliber player like Joel Embiid, you have to be in win mode now. And the Sixers are doing everything they can to get their big fella to the finals. 
is it hard, Richard, to balance the present and the future if you're a team like the 76ers? No, no. You should have 100% focus on here and now. Why? Because players like Embiid oh, only come break, around every break. 20, 30 years in your franchise. So you should just hedge all of your bets and try and get it done while you have the window. And it feels like that is truly the direction. There, there's no deviating from it at all. No, that's the direction. You look at the champions, the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers. They have all done the same thing. They went into win-now mode. It's the second from the line. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. And there's the pass to Tucker. There's Harold. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Raptors trail by 10. Oh, here's Van Vliet. Trent finds Van Vliet. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. A lot of change. Toronto is without some of the key pieces from that title team, and it wasn't that long ago. But Greg, they haven't had to go through a full rebuild. There are some remaining parts. Listen, the talent they have is still undeniable. We've got a good mix of young, up-and-coming players in the prime of their career. The Raptors shooting pretty brave so far, about 23%. That shot off. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Passes it to Milton. Here's Harold, covered by Van Vliet. Harold, that's good. And the 76ers lead by nine. Carroll is a modern big man. He can stretch it, and he doesn't have to always be inside to be productive for this team. Now, here's Trent. He's coming off a 22-point game against Miami. Here's the two-drop. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got five points so far. With that now, only two of seven to start the game. Not the start he was hoping for. Pass to Niang. Three pointer. It's held in by Trent. And on an open look like that, he's very good at making the weak coverage pay. Pass to Van Vliet from downtown. And the Raptors get it in from deep. And you have to appreciate the confidence. Van Vliet wastes no time shooting the rock when he is in that group. Loads it up there for Hill. And Hill scoops it in. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Now, here's Trent. And Vliet on the wing. Defended by the. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Philadelphia leading by six. One fifty-one left in the first. Spins. Here's Melton. And the three off target. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Van Vliet with it. Now guarded by Harrell. Releases. And the Raptors tack on two more. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter, especially. Carroll a screen on Van Vliet. Puts it up from 12. No good on the shot if it long that time. Raptors trail by four. Hines for three. Rebound by the 76ers. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And facing a squad that poses some challenges. I mean, they beat them in the playoffs, but lost the regular season series. Now, here's Melton. 
He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And, and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Van Vliet with it. Defended by Milton. Van Vliet passes to Trent. The pass to Boucher. Yep, it counts. We like to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Passes it to Hill. Here's Niang from deep three point range. It's held in by a two. Trent outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Now just a 2.76ers lead. On deep. No good on the last second attempt here. Yeah, At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. 76ers lead by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. They've led by as many as 11 points. They've got Ken Birch, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's Siakam in at the center position. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. Just five to shoot. Maxi passes to Embiid. And they double up in B. Second change shot. Good work there as it goes. And B's got eight points. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Here's Van Vliet. 14 points from him the last game against the Heat in Miami. And we got to talk about his four steals on the night. That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Siakam, he doesn't hit that one. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense bad. Season after season, it seems like Tobias Harris only proves himself more in value. He's one of those blue guys. Stick him into almost any lineup, and he can contribute. Points, rebounds, assists, whatever you need, and that's what makes him a precious commodity. And the rejection by Embiid. Love to see Embiid sliding down shots, taking advantage of his size and frame. Looking it over. Pass to Harris. Embiid touch the pick for Harris. Kicks to Embiid. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. It's Harden with the drive. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of firsts to go along with those overall totals like the first 60-point triple double. First one falls, and Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. He hits both from the strike. And at this stage in Harden's career, he's all about winning. He wants to win as many titles as he can. Van Vliet against Harden. Van Vliet outside. Goes up from the top of the key. And the Raptors miss again. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Harris passes to Harden. Harden draws the double. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. 
Maxie's got nine. Meet your point guard. Harden stirs the drain for you as effectively as he scores. And Fleet outside on the pass to Siakam. The kick out to Porter. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Porter's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Outside, Maxi. Back to Harris. You can't hit that time. And Toronto will come the other way. Siakam passes to Van Fleet. Now, Birch. Pass to Siakam. The 10-foot. That one off the back iron and out. The 76ers leading by six. Harden outside from deep three-point range. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. The Raptors have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Pass to Ananova. Now, here's Birch. And he uses the glass on the lane. Now, just a 4.76ers lead. I like the intention, the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse in 2019. He helped lead the Raptors to the title. And he was the 2020 Coach of the Year. And he says, it means a lot to me that this city and this country loves this team so much. We can go out there and give them something to be proud of. Of course, Kevin, he's been a key part of that success. Back to you. Maybe the single most important part of their success, DA. Thank you so much. Toronto calls timeout. One thing you hear about officiating is you're able to get away with much more in the paint, Richard, than you are on the perimeter. So what's the solution? Uh, call it closer in the paint and looser on the outside? Where should we go? I think you just need to let them play everywhere, to tell you the truth. Because I like it when games become a little bit more physical. Because you get to see who's in the best condition. You get to see who are the stronger players. And then, up top, you got to be smart. Because the smart will take from the strong. Checked in for Philadelphia. is not right up on it. Up top, MB. Outside, Maxi. That's good, and that's MB with the assist. And it's a 9.76ers lead. A yeah, great look provided by MB. The big man just dropping dimes. Siakam inside. Embiid's there. And the rejection by MB. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back. And Siakam's got 
the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Outside Porter wants to get it to Barnes and does. Over Maxi. And again, no good by Toronto. The 76ers leading by nine. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That is his first foul of the game. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Harden against Van Vliet. With some arc. And Harden with the lay-in. Harden's got the lead up to 11 now for Philadelphia. Hold the D that time. Harden with the soft touch. Okay. Here's Siaka. The offensive rebound. And MB with the block. And there comes a point when, for the team's sake, you might want to move it. He's hurting him with all of these misses. Maxi passes to Harden. Another three for Philadelphia. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. Toronto calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. here for the Raptors. Achua, he's checked in for Siakam. And Trent subbed in for Otto Porter Jr. And Philadelphia also making a switch. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Pass to Trent. There's the pick. Looking to end the run. Van Vliet can't get it to go. If they want to come back, it needs to be better. And I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing. He understands that teams are going to bring two, sometimes three. You have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens. In B, he embraces that challenge. And the foul called on OG and Novi. That is his first foul of the game. Chris Boucher is checked in for Toronto. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the 76ers. DeAnthony Melton comes in for James Harden. against Trent. Harrell setting the pick for Maxi. In the corner it's Melton. Down to five on the shot clock. Offline with his three. Raptors trail by 14. It's Trent on the wing. He's covered by Maxi. Now Barnes. He's got five. And Feibel sends it back. Trent against Maxi. He gets that one. Maxi's got 14 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. 
Barnes passes to Boucher. And the dunk by Boucher. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Here's the pass to Thibel. And Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Jake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers. Here's Milton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Carroll a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Milton. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Here's Van Vliet. And he could not get that one to go. He's out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Fred Van Vliet, a player who has always shot well from outside. And Kevin Van Vliet has continued to kind of take on more of an offensive load. Shoot two. Increased his volume while maintaining efficiency. Not every player able to do that. First free throw is good. Richard, you grew up in Arizona. Uh, what do you think of the Suns right now and what they've done the last two seasons? Oh, how much time do you got? All my <laughs> friends back home are just loving it. Chris Paul, he has helped change the culture with Monty Williams. Great job by the front office. They have put in so much young talent, and they have coached them up. They are a complete team. And like I said, how much time you got? We could do this all day. We could indeed. No, watch the Anthony. And here's Melton. Milton kicks to Thibel. Milton against Trent. Tucker a screen. Milton passes to Tucker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. PJ Tucker at the line for two. First one falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Left block shot on the way. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. In the third spot, Montrez Harrell. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Trent. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. one falls, so he hits both of them. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Milton with it. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Barnes kicks to Trent. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Trent's got four points in the quarter. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Milton the pass to Thibel. Good on the triple. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. And the Raptors with the ball. 
It's a 14 point game. Here's Van Vliet. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. And a shoot first point guard. Van Vliet understands how to get defenders to foul him when taking shots. Shoot two. He's off on the first. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. That's off as well. So he misses both. Normally he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the bucket. And that's now seven points for Gary Trent Jr. Carroll was screen on Van Vliet. Passes to Fiber. Pass to Harrell. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four and improving as a shot maker every year. Harold has to be accounted for defensively. For three, Van Vliet, it's good from long range. Van Vliet's got 17. And they're shooting really well from long range this quarter. They should keep looking for the three-point shot with some extra offense. Five-hole, the pass to Harold. Here's Melton. And you know, he yeah, you know, his progression as a shooter has been impressive. Yeah, he struggled on the pull-up jumpers early in his career. But he worked at it, and now he's very efficient. His offense is almost as good as his defense at this point. Free throw, no good. George Niang is checked in for Montrez Harrell. No good on the second free throw. Raptors trail by 11. Here's Van Vliet. He's got 17. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Feibel. Milton with it. And it's Trent picking him up. Milton kicks to Melton. There's a good screen. Good. And the 76ers lead by 13. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Knocked away and stolen by Feibel. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Scotty Barnes picks one up. And NBA all defense for two years running. Uchi Feibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA. throw drops in there for Feibel. Cam Birch is checked in for Achua. The 76ers also with a sub. Korkmaz is checked in. And both free throws good for Feibel. And the Raptors with the ball. Down by 15. defense on him. Boucher's shot is off. Oh man, you know he'd love to have that one over. 
Here's Cork Mons. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Barnes outside. Pass to Boucher. And here is Barnes. To the paint. Here's Van Vliet. It is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists in the game. Here's Court Miles. And we've reached halftime in this one. So many sisters on top. They lead by 13. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, stop making some of them. Now you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Welcome, everybody. It may be early on in the season, but not too early to take a full assessment of the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look here now at Toronto. They're right where I expected them to be. The effort is there, but their play is inconsistent. Feels like they're still constructing this roster. We'll see what they look like by the end of the year. All right, and shifting gears to our current matchup, it's been a rough one so far for the Toronto Raptors. Right now, this game is being won and lost on the glass. When another team is out muscling you, sometimes you have to run more guys for the backboard. Quantity can match quality if you can also be aggressive going after the basketball. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. up here in the second. Red Van Vliet really making a difference here. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters. He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Taking a look at the 76ers, Harrison and Beat are manning the post position. Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Thibault in at the three spot. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And checking out the stats for Joel Great showing for him last season. How about 30 points per game? 11 rebounds and four assists. And you look at his score, and he was number one on the team last season. His ability to play through contact, his exceptional concentration, that's what makes him a great finisher. And the first one drops. Both free throws good for James Hart. Raptors trail by 15. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Van Vliet against Hart. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got 21 in the game. It's been all Van Vliet tonight. One of the best undrafted players in league history. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Offensive rebound. Harden kicks to Harris. Maxi passes to Embiid. Shot clock at six. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And that one's good. Revival. Nice, clean bounce pass. Sometimes the fundamentals are all you're going to need. 
Barnes down low. Brought you by Harris. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. The best to Embiid on the arc. Toronto grabs the miss. On and over, he's got four rebounds in this game. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And here's Van Fleet from the arc. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now Harden, 14 points for him. Harris finds Embiid. Out to Harris. Tires the three. Goes back up. And Embiid finishes inside. Embiid's got 12 points in the game. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Van Vliet outside. And an OB in the corner. Van Vliet against Harden. Siaka sets the screen for Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. The 76ers leading by 18. Axi passes to Harden. Now, Thibel, he's guarded by Ananobi. Thibel kicks to Maxi. From outside the arc, Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Barnes. Back to Van Vliet. They can use a bucket. He lays it in. Van Vliet's got 23. Yeah, and unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. The feed to Hart. Dishes it to MB. Sinks that one from the post. Embiid's got four this quarter. The offensive arsenal of Embiid is phenomenal. He's capable of scoring in a multitude of ways. Toronto calls timeout. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is one. Checked in for Toronto. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Gary Trent. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Passes to Siakam. Pass to Achua. A great pass to set up the lay-in. And the all-around game of Siakam is so adept at working the ball to open guys. Pass to Harold. 
outside. Maxi. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Fires from deep. A fresh 14 for Philadelphia. Embiid, no good. And there's the call on Montrez Hill. That's foul number two for him. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton's checked in. Raptors trail by 16. Van Vliet outside, inside, puts it up from seven. Porter finds Ananobi. Siakam inside. Harrell on him. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 76ers. The first one falls. Siakam hits them both. And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They led by as many as 18 points. Launches it. That shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Oh, and an OBA in position. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And hard to decide which is better the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. It's a sensational alley -oop. Now it was Harden. 14 points for him. Here's Maxi. Another miss by Philadelphia. Raptors trail by 12. Here's Adenobi. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Harris. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw missing. And he sinks the second. Philadelphia leading by 11. And here is Milton. Harden with a screen on and an open. Milton. Last contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots. So he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. He throw good, Milton. Raptors trail by 14. Van Vliet outside. Here's Achua. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Achua's got his second bucket tonight. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And Harden now, top of the key. 
Harden draws the double. Six on the shot clock. Hitting the pass to Harold. And Harold shoots it in. And once Harold hits the launching pad, the defense doesn't have a lot of good options making that jam seem unstoppable. Outside Porter. Siaka sets a screen for Porter. Back to Van Vliet. Is given the 76ers lead. He's got down to just 12 points on the bucket from Van Vliet. Oh man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Now, here's Maxi. He's got 14. Harden, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Porter finds Siakam. And he pops in the layup off the glass. Siakam's got five points so far. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Harris. George Niang comes in for Shake Milton. Korkmaz checked in for Maxi, And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. The 76ers leading by 10. Here's Niang. The pass to Korkmaz, out left of the wing. And there's a foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's foul number two for him. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, we're not giving up this lead. out a bit. Pocket six. This is it to Niang. Hits it to go from beyond the arc. Niang's got five points so far. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Here's Van Vliet. And an OB has the open look. Oh, good with the triple. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now, here's Harold. He's got eight. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Melton. The three. The shot that time, not on top. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Be with him. Van Vliet outside. Boucher sets a screen for Van Vliet. The rebound by Niang. The 76ers leading by 13. 
Melton passes to Harrell. Shoots a fader. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher has got his fourth rebound with that last one. Hits it out. Down low. Here's a Chua. A dunk by a Chua. The awareness is something people don't always talk enough about with Porter. That's a great find there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And that one falls for Achua. And one of the problems in the first half, that shot he worked at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now, here's Melton. Tucker has screened. Melton passes to Tucker. And out of bounds is the Raptors' game potential. Right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. The Raptors in second. You could tell by watching them how much they enjoyed playing defense. They seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and, and pressuring the basketball. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 25 outside Porter. Pass to Boucher. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They led by as many as 18 points. And there's the pass to Korkmaz. Harrell was screen on Van Vliet. Korkmaz gets to him. And Boucher sends it back. Now here's Van Vliet. Passes it to Achua. Now Porter. Boucher with a screen on Melton. Deflects the pass. There's 154 left in the third. And Boucher sends it back. And here is Van Vliet. That's to Achua. Now here's Boucher. And here is Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Nian passes to Harrell. Here's Nian, covered by Van Vliet. Nian kicks it to Tuck. Fast break, Toronto. And the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just eight in the basket from Van Vliet. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution running the purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. And the 76ers call time here. Burks is checked in for a cure. Addie Barnes comes in for OG Ananobi. 
And Trent subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Philadelphia also making some changes. Joel Embiid comes in for Harold, And Matisse Thibel subbed in for George Nian. One oh four left in the third quarter. And Bede with the screen on Trent. And it's Thibel in the corner. And Bede inside. Heard by Birch. That one is good from Joel and Now look, he can certainly extend his range, but Embiid is very comfortable from distance. Outside Porter. Pass to Trent. Let's it go from deep. And Embiid pulls it down. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Court Mons. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six to shoot. And Embiid kicks to Melton. Puts the move on. Rebound by the Raptors. Boucher's got six rebounds here tonight. The kick out to Barnes. And here at the end of the third quarter is a double digit ball game. 76ers lead by 10. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. We gotta close this quarter out. And it's big. We gotta stretch this game. Close this quarter out. Doc Rivers and to compete at the highest level, this is the kind of thing guys you have to do. And the quarter is strong. And you know, the best teams know how to manipulate these situations. Let's see if they can do that. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. We got Scotty Barnes. Siakam is out there with Kim Birch. Then it's Gary Trent. And it's Flynn in at the point guard position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Al Harden following the miss by Gary Trent Jr. from deep. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Harris finds Thibel. The three from Harden. It's rebounded by Scotty Ball. Raptors trail by 10. To the middle. Here's Seattle. And now he jams it right over Tobias Harris. Wow! What a phenomenal athlete Siakam is. Just taking off and finishing with power at the rim. And they're bringing you up close and personal in the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Now, here's Maxi. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harden. No good that time. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Barnes outside. To the inside. And Feibel sends it back. Harden outside. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Harris dishes to MB. Shock up two there. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man. Harris looking to involve his teammates. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Flynn the pass to Trent. Down low. It's deflected. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Maxi. Out of hand on it. Here's Barnes. And to break that ice cold streak. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by the rep. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Siakam passes to Trent. And the pass to Birch. 
He kicks it to Flynn. From past the arc, and the rejection by MB. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Heibel with the ball. Back to Maxi. Passes it to Embiid. For Birch. And Embiid. The bucket on the assist by Maxi. Maxi's got his fifth assist in this one. Trent against Maxi. Pass to Birch. Back to Trent. Pass to Birch. Barnes outside. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Feibel. Maxi in the corner. Here's the three. He's off on that one. So the Raptors will take it the other way. The key has to respect his range. He made two in the first half. He's capable of dreaming even more here in the second quarter and beyond. Siakam outside. Now, here's Trent, defended by Bible. Just three to shoot inside, and stolen by Harris. Harden left side. Now the pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Here's Bible. Here's Maxi. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. There's a screen to the paint. Here's Birch. Plays it up off the glass. Used the paint to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Outside, Maxi. Harden up top. to Fiber. Off target with his three. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Raptors. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Pass to Siakam. Here's Flynn. And the lead is down inside single digits. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Harden the pass to Fiber. Stolen by Siakam. Step back shot. And Embiid pulls it down. The 76ers leading by eight. Now, here's Steinberg. Pass to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. And the foul on Kim Birch. That's his first foul. Timeout called the 76ers. Timeout for the 76ers. comes in for Barnes, and it's Fred Van Vliet in for Flynn. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin, we'll see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. Raptors on defense. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Shot clock at six. Here's Harden, and stolen by Siakam. Here's the pass to Dan Fleet. From 12 feet out. Here's a two-up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. At the line for Toronto. Precious Achua. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he's able to get one of two. And if you need a lockdown defender, Richard, look no further than the team fighters. Yeah, I watched him play in college at Washington. And in a short amount of time, this guy has proven that he can take on anyone. Exceptional at blocking shots at his position. But he's someone that you can throw on any team's best player. And I mean any team. Here's Van Vliet after the Sixers pick up two. They set the pick. There's the three. Sinks the triple. Van Vliet's got 30 points. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Outside, Maxi. He feeds it to Hart. Nice move. Misses the target. That drops him to 40% now. 4 of 10. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Siakam passes to Achua. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Achua. It's Trent on the wing. A three. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Now Harden. Pass to MB. Shoots over Van Vliet. And there's MB. That's good on the assist from Harris. Embiid's got 22 points. Raptors trail by eight. And here is Van Vliet. Trent outside. Siakam a screen on Maxi. Stolen by Harden. By himself. Oh, and he jams it right over Pascal Siakam. Wow! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that has to hurt if you're the defense. Harden getting fancy with the jam. Van Vliet passes to Achua. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. If I had someone setting picks like that for me, my game probably wouldn't have changed. But maybe I would have played a few more years. Second team battle. At the line for Toronto. Precious Achua. Shooting one. That one misses for Achua. The 76ers leading by eight. Here's Harden. And good that time. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And played against Harden. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And an aggressive inside play there from Van Vliet. Not letting the foul deny him from getting the, the shot off. For your Raptors, Fred Van Vliet at the line for two. Two shots. 
The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Pass to Harris. Feeds it to Embiid. And it's Thibel in the corner. Embiid trying to break loose. And Matisse Thibel hits from deep. And that's one of the underrated aspects of his game, his passing. He knows the defense expects him to finish the job, but he just drops off a dime. Now here's Van Vliet. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on James Hart. At the line for your Raptors. Fred Van Vliet taking two shots. Throw good, Van Vliet. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. Philadelphia leading by nine. Up there for Embiid. And the cut by Embiid. I like whenever Embiid's teammates use his size and throw it anywhere near the rim because he finishes it. Van Vliet against Harden. For the three. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got nine rebounds now tonight. Harden left side. Down low. Just five to shoot. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Van Fleet up top. Guarded by Hart. Van Fleet passes to Achua. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. 15 down. At the line for Toronto. Precious at two left. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Maxi to the inside. Here's Harris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Precious Achua. He was not going to settle on that play. Harris works his way inside and does a good job of drawing the foul. Tobias Harris taking two shots. Shooting two. Down the first one. A good percentage from here. Harris over 80% for his career. And Harris drops them both. 
And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. Now, here's Ananobi. And here's Van Fleet from the arc. And they'll get another chance. Ananobi passes to Siakam. For three, Van Vliet. That one's not going to go. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Here's Embiid. The 17-footer goes down. Embiid. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. No hesitation at all on the alley -oop. Saw his teammate with a pass to the hoop. And bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Harden the pass to Harris. 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Harden kicks to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. Another three for Philadelphia. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, a statement win. What should people know about this team? You know, we're tough, uh, especially defensively. That's our motto. We want to guard. We want to get stops. And I think we did that pretty well uh, tonight. But, you know, we we young. Uh, we're learning every day. And we're going to be. We're going to be really good. Well, looks like it's coming fast. Appreciate your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Joel Embiid.